What's the difference between inflationary and deflationary tokens? When it comes to cryptocurrencies, there are two major types of tokens, inflationary and deflationary. These terms refer to how the token supply changes over time. When a currency is subject to inflation, its purchasing power falls over time, which makes it challenging to budget effectively. When it comes to fiat, central banks attempt to maintain low, stable levels of inflation to encourage spending and, in theory, stimulate economic growth. Cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, are decentralized, with no central authority regulating them. Instead, crypto developers play that role, while some DAOs can vote on a project's tokenomics. Usually, the token's tokenomics is embroidered in the smart contract without the possibility to change it. Inflationary cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether have a fixed issuance, but the number of coins in circulation increases over time through mining or being issued to proof-of-stake validators. There are, however, some cryptocurrencies that have unlimited supplies. The best example of such a coin is Dogecoin, where the supply increases by 3 to 4 percent a year, hence the inflation. Deflationary cryptocurrencies, like Matic, decrease in supply over time, making the price of each coin rise if demand remains consistent. Some cryptocurrencies mix and match deflationary, inflationary, and, and disinflationary mechanics to keep the price in check. Ethereum, for example, once had a purely inflationary Ether. Since the merge and its transition of proof-of-stake, Ether's inflation got extremely low, with periods of time when the token was deflationary. XRP also has deflationary mechanics, but periodically releases tens of billions of XRP into the market to increase the circulating supply. That's why crypto is better than fiat. Its supply can be adjusted to the demand, not causing rising worldwide inflation. Fiat, on the other hand, cannot be burned or destroyed. It can just be printed. Subscribe to Satoshi Club.